Hey, welcome back. Modding time. Michael, tech for all channel, and you may consider subscribing if not done yet. Oh, and one more companion during these few minutes. That is the Mavic Air. Now, this tutorial is mostly targeted to people who are outside the United States and would either like better range or to effectively use the 5.8 GHz range. Following the successful tutorial I've done for the DJI Spark and the Phantom 3 SE, it's now time to unlock the potential of the Mavic Air. Here we go! Before showing you the actual procedure, I need to tell you a few things. If you don't want to listen about regulations, go to the index and do a fast forward. But I think it's very important you to be aware of the possible implications. Using FCC mode in non-FCC areas could be a violation of local regulations, so you might be violating a few local laws. Not that the radio waves are much stronger if you're running them in FCC mode, but still many countries have restrictions about the decibels a transmitter can be working with. So keep it in mind and you might get into trouble, especially if you're using that in urban areas. Overall, I believe that even in CE mode, the Mavic Air has a pretty good range. Actually, the CE mode of the Air is as good as the FCC mode of the DJI Spark. But I know there are people who would like to squeeze even more out of that. The title of this video refers to a two minute procedure, so let's begin. And I know how to do that on Android device. For iOS, I don't really know. There is a Facebook group, I'll put a link in the description below, and maybe you can seek for some help over there. As a start, download the app Fake GPS, a small one, and actually tricks your smartphone that we are in a different location. In order to make it run, you need to first unlock developer options. To do that, just tap seven times on the build number of your Android. As soon as you see developer options, go ahead and find mock locations or allow mock locations or something similar and something related to mock locations. The title of the menu depends on your Android version and on the vendor of your smartphone. In most of the cases, you can specify an app to use mock locations or choose the fake GPS. Go to the app, choose a random location in the United States of America, hit the start button, and the first part of the modification is already done. Now open the DJI Go 4 application. As soon as it loads, it's going to tell you that the region has changed and it's going to ask you to change the Wi-Fi settings. This is exactly what we want to do. The fake GPS has made your smartphone think that we are in the United States. And now since your smartphone is connected to the transmitter, the transmitter thinks that you're already in the USA. So hit OK. The transmitter is going to restart. And you're almost done. I just need to share a few other little things. Like the Germans say, die Kleinigkeiten. To confirm that you're in FCC mode, Navigate to Settings, select Wi-Fi and make sure that you see 11 bands for the 2.4 range. That's the easiest way to find out whether you're in CE mode or in FCC mode. CE mode has 13, FCC mode has 11. As soon as you're certain that you're in FCC mode, you can stop the fake GPS app. From now on, every time you run the DJI GO 4 app, it's going to ask you for switching the wireless settings. Always choose Cancel. Because the fake GPS app is no longer active, your smartphone knows about your exact location and it wants to switch the transmitter according to the local regulations. So always click Cancel. If you accidentally bring your transmitter back to CE mode, no worries, just repeat the procedure. As you can see, it takes less than a minute once you've done it already. Well, that's about it. Quite simple. I was very surprised to see a similar tutorial uh, on the website 
of one of the Italian resellers of DJI products, so apparently a lot of people would like to benefit from the better range. But again, use it with caution. To summarize, the procedure is really simple, does not affect your battery life, does not void your warranty and is fine to be used as long as you know what you're doing. Well, that's it. Time to say goodbye. Fly responsibly and do not do anything crazy, alright? Uh, just before you jump to the next video on YouTube, would you please share with me which is your best CE achievement, not FCC, I'm wondering about your best results with CE in both 2.4 and 5.8 GHz. And of course, I'm going to share my achievements here uh, in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you soon back here at the Tech4O channel.